Dear students, welcome to Impulse Master Classes, a program designed for 10th class students. Myself, Ramakrishna, Senior Faculty in Mathematics, having 25 years of experience. I am currently working with Impulse Education Institutions, Hyderabad. And today, we are going to discuss the applications of the quadratic equations, especially sum of the roots and the product of the roots in various competition examinations. Let's have a look at this question. If alpha comma beta are the roots of the quadratic equation x square minus x minus 1 equals to 0 and moreover it is given that pk equals to alpha power k plus beta power k when k is greater than or equals to 1 then which of the following statements are true option a p3 is p5 minus p4 option b p1 plus p2 plus p3 plus p4 plus p5 equals to 26 option c p2025 equals to p2024 plus p2023 option d p5 equals to 11 by looking at this question most of the students get nervous where to start this question and how to end this question in this video i'm going to explain a very very easy method to attack this type of the question let's understand how to explain these type of the problems in a traditional approach So, given alpha comma beta are the roots of x square minus x minus 1 equals to 0, so that the sum of the roots equals to minus b by a, which equals to 1, and that you know in your 10th standard itself, and product of the roots equals to c by a, so c is minus 1, and a equals to 1 here, so product of the roots equals to minus 1. Now, let us calculate pk, alpha power k plus beta power k, by plugging k is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now let us explain what is p1 here. And p1 is equal to alpha power 1 plus beta power 1, which is equals to 1. Now what is p2? p2 equals to alpha square plus beta square, replacing k with 2 here. Now you know that alpha square plus beta square can be written as a plus b whole square minus 2 a b. Because as you know, the sum of the roots and the product of the roots, I am converting this into in terms of the sum of the roots and the product of the roots. Now, what is alpha beta here? 1. What is alpha beta? Which is minus 1, which results in 3. Now, let us calculate P3. Now, what is P3 here? Alpha cube plus beta cube. Now, what is A cube plus B cube? And you all know that a cube plus b cube is a plus b whole cube minus 3ab into a plus b. Now, purpose of taking this formula is now we have to convert this in terms of the summation of the roots and the product of the roots because already we know these values. Now, let us plug in these values over here alpha plus beta is 1 and alpha beta is minus 1 and alpha plus beta equals to 1 which equals to 4. Now let us calculate p4. What is p4 here? Put k equals to 4, alpha power 4 plus beta power 4. Now how to convert this in terms of the summation of the roots and the product of the roots? Now let us then convert this as alpha square whole square plus beta square whole square so that it was of the form a square plus b square now we know that a plus a square plus b square is a plus b whole square minus 2ab so that we can convert this in terms of the summation of the roots and the product of the roots so here a is alpha square and b is beta square minus 2 a is alpha square and b is beta square but we already calculated alpha square plus beta square as 3 which was in p2 so this is alpha square plus beta square minus 2 times alpha beta whole square which is 9 minus 
2 into but alpha beta is minus 1 here is equal to 7. Now let us calculate what is P5. So what is P5 here? Replacing K with 5, then I get alpha power 5 plus beta power 5. Now you might have the confusion that we don't have the factorization for alpha power 5 plus beta power 5. Now what to do? Path is, now let us see what is P2 here? Alpha square plus beta square. What is P3? Alpha cube plus beta cube. Now, can we do anything for between P2 and P3 to get P P5? Yes. By multiplying these two equations, alpha square is multiplied with alpha power 3, then there is a chance of getting alpha power 5. Now, let us start with the product of P2 into P3. Now, what is P2? Alpha square plus beta square. What is P3? Alpha cube plus beta cube. Now, by the distribution property, alpha square alpha cube become alpha power 5. Now, alpha square is multiplied with the second term, alpha square beta cube. Beta square is multiplied with the first term, which is beta square alpha cube. And second and second, which is beta power 5. We already get P3 equals to 4, P2 3, and P3 is 4. So 12 equals to, and this is our requirement, which is alpha power 5 plus beta power 5. And this is our unwanted term. Now let us do alpha square, beta square is taken as common. Now, by taking alpha square, beta square is common, you will be left with beta here. And by taking alpha square, beta square as common, you will be left with alpha. Now, 12 equals to, this is alpha power 5 plus beta power 5 plus, and this is alpha beta whole square. Product of the roots equals to minus 1. So, this is minus 1 whole square. And sum of the roots equals to 1. Therefore, alpha power 5 plus beta power 5 equals to 12 minus 1 is equals to 11. Therefore, we got P5 is equals to 11. Till now, we have calculated P1, which is alpha plus beta is equals to 1. P2, alpha square plus beta square equals to 3. And P3, alpha cube plus beta cube equals to 4. And P4, alpha power 4 plus beta power 4 equals to 7. And P5, alpha power 5 plus beta power 5 equals to 11. Just to summarize, the key concept of the traditional approach is by using the algebraic fact factorization, we have to convert all these expressions into sum of the roots and the product of the roots. That's it. Now, let us get back to our initial question. So, with the traditional method, we can evaluate what is A, B and D options. But we cannot evaluate what? the option C. Because the option C involves with the higher powers. Now, P2025, which was alpha for 2025, and beta is rise to 2025, which cannot be calculated in our traditional approach. Now, to solve these type of higher powers, I will explain you the new approach to solve the option C. Now, let us understand our new approach, which I call the power rising method. Hope you enjoyed this class. See you in the next class. Thank you.